Hello, welcome, welcome to Yoga with Becky. And today's practice is gonna be a brief practice, uh, basically a recovery practice for a day or evening of sitting on the bleachers. So as a mom of three boys, I spend a lot of time sitting on bleachers probably more time than I could ever imagine. <laughs> and those bleachers are not good to the spine and the neck. So we're gonna see if we can recover the body and the breath a little bit today. Um, all we need for practice is either a couple of yoga blocks or a stool like I have here, and then maybe a blanket or a couple of towels because they have that little bit of firmness. So grab those two things, um, go team, I hope you're team one, and meet me on the mat to recover the body from a day of bleacher sitting. All right, so we are going to get started in seated. This whole sequence is done seated and on the knees. Um, that towel or blanket you grabbed, I highly recommend you take it and you fold it a couple of times and you sit up onto it because again, sitting on the bleachers all day, we sort of start to kind of hunch over and sit in all kinds of weird positions. Um, so take that blanket and just place it underneath you. We're going to try to start with the right ankle in front of the left ankle and then we're going to take that block or stool to the right side of the body. And we're going to start by coming back to our breath. So one thing I don't think we realize is when we go to those games that are, especially ones that are really intense, we spend a lot of time holding our breath or catching our breath. So let's see if we can find it. Take a big inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Let your shoulders just relax down your back. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Let that heart lift, maybe suspend the breath for a moment and then exhale through the mouth. Shoulder blades just melt down the back. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Awesome, I feel better already. <laughs> so close the mouth here, just breathe a few times. In and out through the nose. You can close your eyes or let the eyes stay open. Maybe you're replaying one of those intense games. And then if the eyes are still open, feel free to either drop the gaze to the ground or go ahead and close your eyes so that way you can think about kind of how your body is sitting. So notice right away, is the heart reaching forward? Does it feel like your pelvis is tilted forward? Go ahead and tilt that pelvis back. You can think of your pelvis like a bowl and if it's tipping forward, it's kind of dumping everything out. We want to tip it back, set it evenly back down. Let that heart just rise a little bit above the ribs. And you may have to keep adjusting the pelvis. I have a tendency to lean forward into the next moment of life. <laughs> so feel free to just kind of keep checking in with yourself and sitting back. And then eyes can flutter open here. Let's start by just dropping the left ear towards the left shoulder. So again, that right ankle is front in front. We're just leaning the head away from the right knee here. Take a big breath. Imagine the breath being sent into the right side of your neck. And then we're gonna drop our head forward. Let it roll all the way forward until it comes even with your heart. And then go ahead and lift it back up. Check in with that pelvis. Nice lengthened spine. Big inhale. Exhale, drop the head to the left. And then let it roll forward. Inhale, bring it back up. Lift it up. Exhale, drop it to the left. And then let it roll forward. Yeah, you got it. So send it back up so come up nice and tall we're going to do the other side you guessed it so we're going to drop the head to the left or to the right excuse me I'm trying to mirror you and then drop the chin down let it roll forward even it out with the heart and then lift it back up so using the breath here big inhale lengthen through the crown of the head and we'll exhale drop it to the right now i got it and then roll the head forward and lift it up. 
Two more times, just like that. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, drop it to the right. And roll it forward. Inhale, lengthen. This will be our last time. And drop it. And roll it. And then sitting it back up. So we have our stool or our block on the right side of the body. We're going to take the right hand, or maybe if you can tip over and set the elbow, this is why I like a stool so it sits up a little higher. Take that elbow to that block or to that stool, and we're going to take our left fingertips here. First of all, we'll shake that hand out. So let's shake the hand out. Wiggle the fingers. Rotate the wrist. And notice I'm kind of leaning over, but I'm not letting my head be heavy. We're going to take our fingertips right there towards the shoulder, and we're going to make some big circles with that elbow. You got it. So again, this is all about recovering or reminding ourselves, oh yeah, we have a spine that we can lengthen as we hunched further and further down the longer we were on those sports team torture devices called the bleachers. <laughs> And then roll it forward. So rotate, really kind of feeling, maybe feeling into all the snap crackles and pops that are happening in the shoulder. Maybe that's just me, but that's happening too. And then we're going to reach that left hand down. Let the fingers hover just above the ground and then lift your heart ever so slightly. Now we can let our head go heavy. Let that right ear just kind of tug towards the right shoulder. And then as you inhale, flip the palm towards the skies and reach that arm up. Tip over to the right and then let it swing back down. Nice and slow. We're not rushing anything. Maybe you want to flip the palm over as it gets closer. Inhale, reach it up. The palm can come up. We can sway and come back down. You can kind of imagine yourself. Keep going. Inhale, lift like one of those cattails that are at the edge of a pond, kind of just wandering and swinging in the wind. One more time, let it swing out and over and up. This time, reach the uh, left hand up towards the skies. Press down into your right hand or right elbow, depending on what's on the ground. And then we're going to cactus this arm. So just bend it out to the side, or I guess, since we're talking about bleachers and sports, goalpost. <laughs> So take that elbow, draw it down, check in with your breath here. We probably lost sight of it. Inhale, exhale. We're going to hold two more breaths. Imagine the left shoulder blade just melting down the back. Imagine that neck as a ski slope, lengthening out the ski slope. Feel free to wiggle the fingers. One more breath here, big inhale, big exhale. Awesome. And then we're going to take this left hand, and we're going to swing it across the body. See if you can take it just above the right knee. And then as you sit up, just tilt away from that leg here. So this is going to take the stretch into the right hip. So if it doesn't grab the knee, just walk it back until it um, grabs a hold of the leg. Lean away. One more breath here. And then sit it up. Woo, feel how that left side feels. <laughs> Take the hands onto the legs. Last little thing here. We're going to circle to the right since that right ankle is in front. So just circle the body. And you can take this at whatever pace you'd like. This is a really good one to, even if you just did this after a day of sitting on the bleachers. Take one or two more big circles or little circles, whatever kind of circles you're taking to say hello to the hips. I'm going to come back through the center. We're going to just sit up nice and tall, take a little shake of the hands, and then we're going to switch sides. So take your block or your stool and stick it to the other side. And then if you'd like, straighten the legs here for a second and maybe bounce the knees, massage the knees a little bit, rotate the ankles before we bring those legs back in. It's just nice to regroup. I call that rinsing, rinsing out the blender. <laughs> so we just stretch the right side, we're gonna rinse it out and then we're gonna take it to the other side. Go ahead and cross that left ankle in front of the right ankle. And each side's different. This side might feel a little tighter than the other side. And we're just going to repeat 
all the motions we did on the other side. So we're gonna start by taking the hand, tugging that prop towards you until the hand is either on the prop and you're leaning over, or again, maybe take your elbow to the stool here. Just pause here for a second. See, are you leaning forward? Did that heart lean forward? Just take a big breath here, big inhale, big exhale. And then from here, we're gonna reach the arms up overhead. So this time that right arm reaches up and then let it swing back down. Fingers just above the earth. Inhale, reach it up, swing it over. And back down we go. Take that two or three more times, lifting up, swinging over, and back down. Make sure this left hand stays nice and soft. Make sure you're finding your breath here. And then one more time, lift it up, tip it over, and then we're gonna stop with that arm reaching up overhead. Wiggle those fingers, rotate the wrists here, and then go ahead and take your fingertips towards your shoulders. So you can relax the head. You might wanna just look down towards that left knee, and we're gonna circle the elbow. Nice big circles with that elbow. A couple times, one direction here. And then switching directions, take it the opposite way. Elbow just kind of reaching and lengthening. One or two more breaths here, big inhales, big exhales. If you didn't already switch directions, make sure you switch directions. And then take that hand, go ahead and release it. We're gonna come, I think I did this in the wrong order, <laughs> but we're gonna cactus the iron here and we're gonna pause here with that cactus arm or goalpost arm. So elbow is gonna come even with the shoulder, maybe even a touch behind it. Now you can tip that head away from the bent elbow. Feel free to wiggle the fingers, rotate the wrists here. Big breaths in and out. One more time, in and out. Now we'll release that arm, take it across the body. See if you can take the hand above the knee and again, we're just gonna lean away. So now we're gonna let our head drop the opposite way. And if the hand doesn't wanna grab a hold of the leg, maybe you can just take the fingers and kind of rest them. You can also reach in and grab a hold of the foot and just lean away from the left knee. So lots of options to make this available. One more breath here. And then go ahead and sit it up. You can set that prop to the side. Take the hands on top of the legs. This time we are gonna circle to the left. So with the left in front, we're gonna take those big circles here. Just think about stirring a big pot of soup with your heart. Most of my analogies are food or parent based. So circle, circle, circle. Feel free to slow it down. I always feel like I need to go into slow motion when I tip away from that hip. And then you can reverse directions if you'd like. I know we did it on the other side, but sometimes it's nice to even it out here. Awesome, come back up through the center. Maybe give a little shake of the arms, shake of the head. See if you've regained, you relocated that um, post bleacher spine, and then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees for a little bit of sequencing on the knees. So this will be more for the back and the hips. So come into your tabletop position here. You can set your props to the side so you're not kicking them like I am. And then come into a tabletop position here. Go ahead and lift the feet, rotate the ankles. And then if you'd like, tuck the toes, walk the hands back, and just lift and lower the knees a few times. So this will stretch the calves. I know you're probably like, but my calves didn't get a workout sitting on the bleachers. <laughs> but they probably remain sedentary for quite a while. So ankle stretching. And then come back into a tabletop position. Go ahead and land the shoulders directly over the wrists. And we're gonna take a few cow cats here. So as you inhale, just drop the belly, let that heart lift, look up. And then exhale.
exhale, round it out. This is another one. If this is the only thing you do at the end of a bleacher sitting day, you'll probably feel about 10 times better. Rounding it out. I always feel like they should come, the halftime show should be yoga for all of us who are sitting on the bleachers all day. I would, not that I don't mind a good halftime show, <laughs> but maybe five minutes, five minutes of cow cats for everybody in the audience. Inhale, lift the head. Uh, exhale, round it out. Go ahead and keep the back rounded on this next one. So rounding it out here. And then we're gonna sit back towards the heels. Last couple movements here, sliding the hands forward, keep the elbows lifted. Let that head drop all the way down between the arms. And you can kind of shrug the shoulders up and down a little bit. And then I invite you to, <clears throat> excuse me, just bring the elbows back. Set that forehead on the ground or on your towel or blanket. And then take some big breaths here. Make sure the tailbone is rounded down towards the heels. If this isn't comfortable to sit back on your knees or ankles like this, you can lift up and take an elevated child's pose. So just lifting the hips up, take the forehead. Feel free to close the eyes here. See if you've been able to regain the breath a little bit. Again, one thing we don't always notice is how often we change our breath pattern when we're at a sporting event. There's a lot of kind of gasping and shouting going on, at least at the, the games that I'm at. I'm, I'm only at eighth grade basketball games right now. Big breaths in and out, breathe into the belly. Soften the shoulders. Let's take five more breaths here into the belly. Soften the shoulders. Keep repeating that to yourself. And again, this is just recovery. Coming back. Trying to wash out the body's memory of sitting on that hard surface most of the time without a back to it. At least our bleachers are just kind of planks of wood. <laughs> Take one more big breath here. And then feel free to just rest here a little bit longer. And what I invite you to do is, this will be our brief Shavasana. And my invitation to you is over the next five to 10 breaths, think about each breath melting or softening the body just 0.2% more. Sometimes you can start with the fingers. If the knees and ankles are starting to ache, feel free to come onto the back of the stomach for these last couple breaths here. So soften something that you have, basically that you have control over or you can consciously think about relaxing. It can be super simple. Sometimes I start with the eyelids or eyebrows. Softening the fingertips, the toe tips, things like that. And the rest of the body will follow suit. Three more breaths. Beautiful, you got it, two more. Last one, and if this is your most melty breath, sinking into the earth beneath you. And then go ahead and roll on up. Let's come back to our original seated position just for a moment here. Sometimes we get up and we run away to the next thing, which I completely get, but let's take a second here. How's the body feel? I always feel a little just kind of awake and broader after doing a sequence like that that moves up your spine. So, as always, if this is the only intentional movement you take this week or today, it is more than enough. And if you need a little bit more bleacher recovery for the back, feel free to check out the standing sequence as well on my page. And I will see you back here soon.